Hello, my lovely Tauruses. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I will be doing a reading today. It's a general reading, so I'm not, I don't really have a focus here, but I do feel love and relationships, and that's usually the way things go. But if I see anything else, like career-related or anything like that, I will definitely say it. I always say what I see. Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading. It will not apply to every single one of you. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Um, if you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy, please email me. My email's in the box below. I will gladly send you all the information you need for personal readings. It's on the community tab as well as my website, and please check me out on Patreon. I do channel messages over there. Um, yeah, so I've been sick, and I'm slowly getting over this cold. I just, it's like I had a week off from it. My birthday week was really busy, and I was starting to feel better, and then bam, it hit me again. So I'm doing the best I can. Bear with me. Um, with my nasally voice and uh, potential coughs, but I should be good. I f I'm feeling pretty good right now, so hopefully I can go through this without hacking your ear off. Um, so I did a shuffled songs, and the song that came up for you guys was I Will Always Love You by um, Whitney Houston, and to me, like, it's very fitting with how I feel because I kind of feel a sense of nostalgia um, and I feel like there's two people on the table here. Like there's a past person and a new person and you Taurus. Um, I mean, we're dealing with energies. It could be vice versa, take it where it fits, but this is just how I'm going to say it. So if it's not you apply it to the other person involved. Um, and if it doesn't fit at all, don't make it fit <laughs> anyways. Um, I feel like there's two people involved, past person, new person, and I feel like there's a lot of memories with this past person, and it was a relationship, um, you did have a relationship with this past person, it potentially you could have been married or just a long-standing commitment, there could be children involved, but I, I mainly feel like there was definitely a past connection with somebody, and it's one that you've tried to rekindle or they've tried to rekindle with you. And it hasn't been working. It's almost like I feel like Taurus, you've tried and tried and tried um, because you felt like they were your soulmate. They were your person. You know, they knew you best. So you wanted you want to be with them, basically. And I feel like there's been a shift or a change um, either in your thought process or you've just come to a realization because of some reason. It's almost like I feel like you just woke up one day and you're like, uh-huh. You just had an epiphany and you're like, this is never going to happen. This is not supposed to happen because if it was, it would have already. Um, I feel like a lot of you feel like you've been taken advantage of either by this person or just in the past. And there's someone on the table, someone new, could be a friend of yours, excuse me, or it could be somebody who's just coming into your life or um, that you met maybe over the summer or you've known for a long time, whatever. There's a new person who's who has taken interest in you and I feel like it just it never got off the ground because your focus was elsewhere and I feel like you're redirecting your focus towards new trying to be positive trying to align everything in your life and this new person keeps um, coming up um, in your thoughts your dreams whatever to the point where you're really considering pursuing someone new over the past um, which is kind of funny because I feel like I've had this story before, but it was more I'm um, focused on the past and I just, there's such a shift going on now is what I feel for whoever this is for. So the central energies is the king of fire. Um, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is like the king of wands. I'm using the good tarot. So these are like a happier version of the cards pretty much. Um, he has a heart above his hands and to me, it's like I'm open and, and ready and willing to offer um, the love that I have to somebody. And that aha moment I was talking about with the sun around, around his head, that's illumination, that's clarity, that's happiness, that's positive thinking. I feel like this is that, this is representing that aha moment, like, I know who I love, I, or, I, or I know who actually loves me, who gives a shit about me. There's a lot of passion here, um, and I feel like it's passion for change. 
So let's get some clarification. I just saw the Three of Swords, so I feel like the change that you want is you want to get out of the darkened state that you were in. So if anyone had upset you or hurt you in the past, especially if we're talking about this past person that I mentioned who did that, who betrayed you in some way, shape, or form, um, you're trying to look past it and take it on as a lesson learned instead of repeating history. So I feel like some of you are definitely breaking the chains and cycling, cycling through. So you're like on the precipice of a, of a new journey, one that you haven't been on with, uh, been on before and potentially with this new person. Okay. We have the nine of swords that just flew right out. I feel like this is a stressful situation. Um, when I said that you had this epiphany, it could have come in a dream state. Um, you could be heavily dreaming about uh, somebody new. I feel like if you are dreaming about somebody, it's not this past person. And that's what's kind of making the wheels in your head turn. But you're stressed out because you're not fully out of the past situation yet. Whether you're dating the person or not, and I don't feel like you are for whoever this is, there's still some some connection there that you're trying to break and it's very it's causing a lot of stress within you because there's something that that keeps this person around cancer had a very similar reading like the energy that I'm feeling with like there's like taught you're tied to somebody or a situation I feel like if this is resonating with you or if this reading does, you might want to check out the cancer reading or you could just be dealing with a cancer or have cancer in your chart. But yeah, this is, I feel like moving on and giving your love to somebody else and starting new, no matter what is, is very stressful for you. You don't know how this past person's going to handle it and you really don't want to rock the boat. And then past energy, we have the page of earth and the queen of earth. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be rep uh, this could represent you. You could be dealing with another um, Earth sign. But ultimately, I feel like in the past, you tried. You tried to make things work with this past person. Um, you wanted a solid commitment. You wanted that security, that family life. You know, you wanted the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You just wanted the whole thing, and you thought that this past person was someone that you could have that with. Um, I feel like you gave more to the situation than the other person did. And it wasn't what you were expecting. It's like what you thought would come of it. Never, never came. Um, you guys weren't matched because we have a page and a queen here. So it's like effort levels are not equal. One person's giving more than the other. Um, one wants to be friends and one wants to be committed. It, you guys were just not on the same page. And I feel like that's very past energy that's leading you into this change of heart, like trying to um, trying to get you to move forward, I guess. is how. That's not what I wanted to say. It flew out of my head. But anyways... Um, there could be children involved. I mean, there is Paige here, like I said. But, and if you're, if I'm talking to a man, this could be the mother of your children and you just wanted to keep that family dynamic alive and it wasn't working out. Yeah, and then we have the Nine of Wands reverse. This is giving up on a situation. So, like I said, feelings were not mutual. They were, one was giving more than the other and... I feel like this relationship was given up on a long time ago by at least one party and it's potentially the other person because I see you trying or in the past trying. It's almost like the love will never die. The memories will never die, but I need to move on because I can't, I can't sit in this forever. Like I can't always sit here wondering, waiting waiting and wondering if something's going to change, if you're ever going to love me the way I love you, if you're ever going to see things from my perspective kind of thing. Um, I just feel like you two are on different... You guys are in different books, if I'm going to be honest. Let's see. Can I get one more? What in the world is up with these cards? 
And then we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so we have it in the upright and in the reverse. Like I said, you were trying for commitment. You're trying to hold everything together, get things off the ground, and have this solid commitment with this person, this family life, this happy-go-lucky dynamic, and the other person wasn't offering anything to you. They had given up a long time ago, and they weren't putting in a, any effort. I almost get a sense that this past person, whoever they are to you, which to me it feels like an ex like I've said, they were using you. It's almost like trying to keep you around because you better their life. And it's like having your cake and eat it too. They could um, go out, live their life, screw anyone they want, go party, do this, do that. They have their freedom, but yet they have that security net of you. If, I, if they need money, they can be like, Taurus, please give me money and you'll give them money. Um, you know, you pay your child support, you do this, you do that, you do so much for this person that they don't want to let you go because, because of those selfish reasons. It's not because they're in love with you, they just love what you do for them. And that's what I heavily feel here, like definitely not matching you. And it's very stressful and it makes you want to move on, but at the same time you're still emotionally tied to this person. I feel it's starting to dwindle, like I said, with, um, there's major change coming, so I feel like in Scorpio season, which we're in still right now, um, that's a catalyst for this change. It's almost like a tower coming in and just knocking everything down and making you realize um, what's been going on. So what's in your thoughts about this situation? The Ten of Fire. That's like the Ten of Wands. You're heavily burdened by this. It's stressing you out. There's a lot of stress in the center of your reading as well. It's like anxiety and work. I feel like some of you are worried that, especially if there's children involved, that you might not be able to see your kids or that this person might punish you in a sense if you take away their security or whatever security you've provided them thus far. So it's stressing you out. It's like, I don't want to be taken advantage of. Um, I don't know what to do. Like, I need to move on for myself and find somebody who appreciates me, whether, whether you're just single and going it alone or you do find somebody I do feel like there's somebody new um, that you're moving towards and you might not even realize that that's what you're doing but it, it's almost like the universe is aligning everything to make you see um, who's good for you and who's not like what you have put yourself through like that you had a choice all along to get out of this uh, you just didn't want to because your feelings were so, were so strong for this past person. Um, but it's heavily on your mind. And it stresses you out. There's something that you fear that this person's going to do. And it's going to cause more problems in your life. At least that's a fear that you have. I mean, they could because some people are assholes. But we have the Ace of Cups reversed. That's that no love. Love not being matched. So you're stressed out when it comes to love and relationships. Definitely. This past person has thrown you for a loop. You've, uh, it's like you've given your cup to them so many times in so many different ways, and they dumped it out in just as many different ways as they possibly could. So you always had this sense of lack around this person, and, and it was almost like you were grasping at straws, trying to figure out ways to be around them so that you could feel a sense of companionship and love, but all it did was cause stress so it really bothers you that this person doesn't love you I can I can feel that like I just I feel like I just want to go to sleep just curl up in a ball and lay in bed and shut my brain off like I feel like you don't really sleep at night over this because during the day while you're at work or doing your daily routine your mind's busy, so you're not constantly dwelling on it, but at night, it just, the wheels just turn and turn and turn and turn, and you can't sleep, and then you have fucked up dreams because of it, and then while all of this is going on, there's somebody new, there's somebody that could offer you everything that you want, that you wanted with this person, but you're kind of turning a blind eye to it because you're so stressed out, worked up over what's gone on already with this past person. And why it's all happening is the Emperor. I feel like this is you taking charge of your life. You're finally seeing things for what they are. You're seeing people for who they are. You're seeing this past person for what they're doing to you also. So you're taking the time 
to not only love yourself, but to know, to get to know yourself again. It's almost like clean slate. Who am I? Who am I? Who was I with this person? And who am I with nobody? And who could I be? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what are, what are all the ins and outs of myself? And this is taking charge of your own life. Um, a lot of you could be very business focused at this time. You could be, you could have met this new person at work or while you're at work. Um, that's when you guys contact each other kind of thing. Um, I just, I heard business trip. So if you're away and you're alone, you could contact this person, but this new person, but ultimately this is you just taking charge of your life. And that's why all these realizations are coming to the surface. It's like, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Because you weren't ready. There's a time and a place for everything. And there was probably more things that you needed to see about this past person, excuse me, so that you really knew that this is what you want or this is what you need I should say because I don't really feel like it's what you want we have the seven of pentacles you've waited a long time for this moment and I feel like you waited unknowingly like th this is what I was just saying about there's a time and a place for everything so over time you've gathered this information like this past person did this to you then they did this and then they did this and now that they've done all of this to you you're sitting here and reflecting on it and you're taking charge of your life like it's taken a long time it could have even taken years for you to get to this point and realize how powerful you are and that you and what you deserve um, is more than what this person is giving you because all they're doing is making you wait like I want to date so-and-so so please wait for me Taurus I need money so I'm gonna focus on work and ignore you please wait for me Taurus like this is all the shit that they did to you there could have been cheating whatever in here while you were together but I feel like this is um, this is just over the course of the years that you've known this person or the time span that you've known them and it's actually given you more power it's made you see I'm done waiting I'm not waiting for anybody I am Taurus I stand in my power I you know I'm good at my job I'm good at this and you're seeing all your good qualities and realizing that this person didn't even give a shit about anything that you had to offer they just want your money and your comfort when they're down and out but when they're happy and good they don't need you and you're seeing that um, near future energy is the three of water I mean I do feel that third party energy like I said but um, like in the past they could have hurt you that there could have been cheating involved but regardless with the three of water there is three people here there's you the past person and a new person and to me this is who do who do I go to who do I choose I feel like you're right on the precipice of getting rid of the past person and moving towards um, I want to say reconciling with this new person because I feel like you do know them you have talked to them you could be friends with them um, and I feel like you know they have feelings for you and they wanted to date you but you kind of pushed them away so when I say reconcile it's it's you reconciling your feelings and talking to this person and being like okay well this was the place that I was in I wish that you know I was in a better place when you first approached me you know if you're still single and you're still interested let's go out and have a drink let's go have dinner it's let's start over um, so I feel like you want to start over with this new person and explain to them why you've been so hung up and what's been going on and that it had nothing to do with them you want to celebrate you want to it's also going out with friends and having a good time celebrations and stuff so I feel like you might start off really slow with this new person um, maybe hang out as friends and then get to know them and progress from there because that way I mean the best the best relationships have a friendship uh, foundation they're the solid those are the solid relationships because you fall in love with your best friend and if it doesn't work out romantically like it never progresses past that friendship stage you still have a friend you know what I mean so I feel like you're going to approach it in that kind of way that light-hearted way 
um, or that's how they're going to approach you. And it's almost like the perfect timing to talk to you now because you're clearing up this crap. Yeah, then we have the moon. It's Pisces energy, Piscean energy. <sighs> it's, uh, there's a wolf in the image right here with the moon shining down. It's like a lone wolf. I feel like you guys, for whoever this is for, I feel like you Taurus, you've been um, not only lonely, but you've been doing things alone. Um, like you're a lone wolf. You're away from the pack. You've even secluded yourself um, away from a lot of your friends. So a lot of the adventures and fun things that you used to do, I feel like you've kind of put on the back burner because you've been caught up in this headspace with this past person trying to um, be happy and wanting things to work with them. So your focus has been on that and you've neglected your friends, your family and other situations and you almost feel lonely now. But I feel like you put on you put on a suit of armor, almost like a false mask around your friends that that you're fine. Like I'm happy alone. I'm happy to be single, but in reality, you're lying to them. You're holding you're keeping you're holding in your feelings and you're keeping the truth hidden from everyone because you don't want anybody to feel sorry for you because you feel sorry enough for yourself. You don't want anybody to feel like pity you. Like, I don't want a pity party kind of thing. I'm happy alone. I'm fine alone. I don't need anybody. That's the vibe that you're giving off. But this new person, I really feel like they see right through you and they've told you this, like, this is not news to you. And I feel like that's why you're so comfortable around this new person, even though it hasn't progressed into a romantic situation yet. I just feel like there's some, there's a connection. Like you guys have walked the same path um, on different, you've gone down the same, yeah, the same path on different roads, basically. So, or at different times, I should say. So you guys have a lot in common, especially when it comes to pain. And I feel like you've discussed this. Um, external factors, we have the Queen of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So now we have counterparts. We have the King of Fire in the middle, which is you being stressed out and worried about everything. And then in the future, we have your counterpart. Like I said, this person, this new person, your friend, whoever, it, she, he or she is meant for you. This is energy, masculine, feminine, whatever. Take it where it fits. But this person is, is your person. You thought that this past person was the one and only for you, but you guys ha were very different. You were vibing on different levels, and I feel like now that you're clearing that energy, that old stagnant energy out, you'll never forget that person and the memories you have, but you want to make new ones with this person, um, with this new person. And the Queen of Fire, it's like, look, he has all this love to give, and he wants to tell her and she's ready to receive because she has a heart right here in her chest and there's like it almost looks like a candle like an illumination around it but you see how this is a darker color I don't know if you can see and her heart's kind of faded it's almost like this heart fits perfectly in her chest because they're meant to be so you guys it's love will match I feel like you know that, and I feel like it kind of scares you at the same time, which is why there's some of this anxiety, and with burdens, being burdensome over love, especially new love, I feel like someone here, you preferably, is afraid of getting hurt, so even though you feel that this could be the one for you, this person, you're terrified that if you open up and allow this person in, they're going to hurt you the same way that you've been hurt in the past. But I really don't feel like this person is that type of person that they would do that. I just, I feel like this is something very unique. Yeah. Then we have the Knight of Cups. This person wants to offer you love because this is external factors. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is working on things, putting in the time, energy, and effort into a relationship or situation or whatever. Yeah. She wants to express... The Queen of Fire wants to express her feelings to you, Taurus, male, female, whatever. This is coming in with 
an emotional offer. So I feel like if you reach out to this person in a friendly way, they're going to communicate with you. And if you even let on slightly that you have feelings for them, they're going to be reciprocated. And this person's going to express that they've been waiting to talk to you about this. And that's what I feel. This person has love to offer. They're a little hesitant too because it's almost like they can feel your energy. They can feel your nervousness, your anxiety or whatever. Vice versa, take it where it fits. And then the potential outcome with the way things are going with this energy is the page of water. So yes, you will reciprocate. They're going to come in with this cup of love and emotion and talk to you and you are going to apologize for kind of leaving them out in the cold in the past and kind of shutting down but you just and you're going to explain that you just weren't in that place and it was very hard for you to um, express your feelings and be that vulnerable but this is also a love offer this is it's small because it's a page it's a start it's like I said starting off as friends and working your way up um, building that foundation expressing yourself slowly but surely so I feel I feel like feelings will be expressed. They won't be 100% matched, at least verbally, because of fear. But it's not because you guys don't feel the same. It's, I don't want to be vulnerable, is what I feel with that. So I do feel like there is a, a positive, loving conversation to be had with this new person. Yep, there's strength. You just need to gain the strength and courage to to express your feelings is what it is. Like I said, vulnerability. And then we have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and that's communication. That's honest communication. He's in the upright. You could be dealing with an air sign as well, Ari, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I was going to say Aries, and we do have fire, so very well could be an Aries or a Leo or a Sag. Um, we do have water here as well and earth, but I don't like naming off the signs because we have multiple signs in our chart. But yeah, somebody is trying to gather the strength and courage to have this conversation, to express their feelings to the other person. I feel like it will happen, but it will happen slowly um, because you, Taurus, especially you, this is the way I'm reading it you don't want to be vulnerable. So I feel like you're the one that's going to kind of move really, really slow, like at a snail's pace, which is totally fine. Um, just make sure that you're open, honest, and that this person is being that way with you. And I'm pretty sure this person has waited already to get to this point of communication with you. So I feel like they would be the type of person to kind of walk alongside you slowly and wait and not rush. Um, there does seem to be a lot of passion here where there could be a lot of sexual energy between the two of you. Um, it could be very difficult to contain yourself around this person in a sexual way. Um, even though you haven't had sex yet, it's almost like I want to be intimate with you. Like you'll, you'll feel that urge when you're around this person or you have in the past. Um, but I feel like it's going to move really slow. So it's not going to be rushed, which is amazing. This is really great. It's clearing. It's out with the old and in with the new and I love that it totally sounds like somebody is walking around my house right now and I'm all alone it's crazy the activity in this house has gotten way more intense lately um, your guardian angel card is angel of positivity and I feel like this is extremely fitting for you guys because this is positive change and I feel like the whole woe is me or um, being alone and secluding yourself and being burdened by love and the past and everything, this change that I was talking about, this shift in energy, it, it's allowing you to see things in a, in a positive light, in a better light. It's allowing you to see people for who they really are based on their actions, not their words. So it's allowing you to 
feel confident in letting go people who no longer serve you and getting out of situations that no longer serve you and it's helping you recognize the people who are actually there for you who love you who want to see you succeed who want to grow with you so this is amazing um, Taurus is a really great read and I see really positive changes coming um, and I feel like this conversation I feel it coming either now or before the end of the month this is gonna happen before Christmas I can tell you that I feel like getting into the holiday season is gonna put people their feelings on high alert because you know you want to snuggle with someone on the couch and buy presents for people and whatever if you celebrate the holiday but you know it's just that cozy feeling especially if you live in um, a cold area like I, I'm from Maine so when it snows you want to stay inside where it's warm just saying cuddled up with a blankie with the person you love you know um, it just gets people in their feels and then all those romantic movies come on TV and everything and it makes you wish you had it da, 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 da. so I feel like with the energy being high like that that's when this communication is gonna happen it's beautiful I love you guys and if I don't upload before Thanksgiving I hope you have a very uh, fantastic turkey day I usually cook Thanksgiving dinner so it takes me like three days to get everything prepared, but everyone likes my cooking. So I volunteer for that because, I don't know, I love to cook. It's fun. Um, yeah. And I don't think I did, no, when I did the Halloween specials, I only did four signs and you were not one of them. And I feel like you're next. So I'm going to do four signs around Thanksgiving and then four signs around Christmas time. So the end of December as bonuses so that I cover all the signs because I feel bad that I didn't get around to everyone for the Halloween one. So whoever was done on Halloween is not getting a special, you know, next round. I'm just going to do do it that way. But anyways, I hope that makes sense. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more I have time to pick up on your energy. And join me over on Patreon. Hit me up for a personal. And I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.